back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jimmy Young is going to share with you all how to make a delicious skirt steak. We're going to turn this skirt steak into delicious tacos. This recipe right here is absolutely amazing. It's so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my skirt steak tacos, you better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients. You're gonna need, you're gonna need some skirt steak, and this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Wash it off. I've washed off my skirt steak using lime juice, salt, and cold water, and then we've pat it dry with a paper towel. You're gonna need some type of uh, tortilla. So I have corn tortillas, and some of my family members, they want to use the flour tortillas. So I have them as well. We have Montreal steak seasoning, it's beautiful. It does have garlic and salt in it, but I wanted to use a little bit more garlic. And inside of this garlic is onion powder. We're gonna be using some sazon. I have some beautiful parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty. And then we have some teriyaki based. This is absolutely amazing. It's gonna give great flavor to our skirt steak. It's gonna give it a nice char. We have some chunky salsa. <laughs> yes, chunky salsa is gonna do the trick rather than having pico de gallo. We have some sour cream and some cheese if you want. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Jeannie Young style. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make a gorgeous skirt steak if you've never had it before. I feel like not enough people cook with skirt steak. It is so tender. It's tender, it's juicy, and it's flavorful. You just gotta know how to cook it right. Don't overcook it. Now, you can even cook this well done and it's still gonna be juicy. This is a beautiful cut of meat. But now you can look at it and see that it needs to be trimmed up. Okay, so what I'm doing, I have kitchen shears here, and I'm just gonna cut off the unwanted fat. Okay, you may have family members that doesn't mind the fat. And in that situation, well, then you can leave it on if you'd like to, okay? But I'm gonna trim it off just a little bit, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of the fat on because believe it or not, some of that fat will give this meat a nice juiciness to it. It's called marbling. And when that marbling melts, listen here, it melts down into the meat and makes it really, really juicy. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut off all the fat. <laughs> I hope you all are having a great day today with God on your side. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tasted skirt steak? All right, so now I just have a little tiny bit more to trim off, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how I like to season this beautiful steak. This is perfect for tacos. If you're looking to make steak tacos, try this meat, you're gonna love it. So let's get started seasoning the underside of the meat. I'm going in with that Montreal steak seasoning. Great flavors, just like so. I'm gonna put the parsley flakes just because it makes it nice and pretty. This is not fresh parsley, of course, it's dried. We will be using Sazon. Sazon is gonna give you a beautiful color, <clears throat> excuse me, to your meat. And it's also gonna give a great taste. Absolutely it will. Oh wait, I tell you what, my stomach is a rumbling already because I can't wait to eat this. Garlic and onion powder, just like so. Don't be afraid to season. You need to season to give it flavor in order for it to taste good. That's a little bit of salt, okay? So now let's flip that baby over in this manner. We're gonna season the other side. Gorgeous, oh, wee, this baby gonna be good. When I come back, we're gonna get this onto the flat top. Now, if you don't have a flat top, don't freak out. Cut it in half, throw it in a hot frying pan. You could even use a cast iron skillet pan or take it outside, put it on. Let's go ahead and take our steak. We're gonna put it on, to, listen to that sizzle. If you hear that sizzle, you're moving in the right direction, don't bother it. One of the worst things you can do right now is bother this gorgeous steak. You don't have to bother it. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. Now, naturally, you're gonna start to see a golden brown ring towards the bottom. 
And when you see that, that's going to be your indication that, hey, listen, time to turn me over, at least check on me, right? And so right now what's happening is a crust is beginning to form with the fat combining with the spices and that hot sear from our skillet that we have here is going to create, like I said, somewhat of a crust. But if you go bothering it right now, you'll disturb that crust process. Just leave it alone. When I come back, I'm going to show you the crust that I'm speaking of. You want this to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Even if you're cooking this medium, you still want that nice charred, you know, that charred look, that golden brown color to it. All right? So now let's talk about when you're going to use a corn tortilla and or a flour tortilla. You have to put some heat onto them. When you heat your corn tortilla up, it brings that corn flavor to life. It makes it taste better. Versus if you were to try to just eat it this way, it doesn't taste so great, right? You always have to heat it up. You know, throw it on your stove for a little bit in a dry pan, or you can use a pan that has a little bit of oil sprayed on it, whichever you'd like to do, and then cover it up. They have tortilla containers, if you'd like to use one of those, and it'll keep it nice and warm, okay? And same thing for your soft taco. When you go to use a flour taco, heat that baby up. It, it makes the flavor come alive. Otherwise, it don't taste so good. Smelling so good in here. My goodness. Ooh, wait. I, you know, I'd like to say it's actually been a couple of summers since I've had the skirt steak. I don't know if y'all remember, a couple years back, I said a couple of summers, but a couple of years back, I made a skirt steak and I made like a green sauce to put on top of it and it was astonishing. And we ate it with a uh, salad and it was, I sliced it in such a manner. We had the steak on top of this beautiful salad and it was outstanding. So when I was shopping yesterday, I said, I must make this again. So here we are and I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too. Everybody take a look at this. I'm gonna flip that baby back over because my husband and our son, they like theirs to be, I'd like to say well done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it medium well, okay? Therefore, if they need to heat up meat a little later, when they heat it up, it will heat up to well done. Okay, look at this. Take a look at this, my goodness. Ooh, we use something else in that kitchen. Mm, mm, mm. You wouldn't believe what it smells like right now. Can y'all see that really good? Uh -huh. Okay, we're getting ready, y'all. Almost there. Let's heat some of our corn tortillas up. Just like so, just to get them nice and pliable and warm through. You don't have to deep fry these, okay? That's not what we're doing. We want these to remain to be a nice soft taco. Just a quick baste of our teriyaki sauce. I'm only gonna do one side. I don't want to overwhelm this beautiful steak with too much glaze of the teriyaki sauce. That little bit right there is gonna turn you out. You hear me? Oh, trust me when I tell you this. And in a few minutes, we'll flip it over so you can get a nice char onto it. Let's flip that baby. Get it nice and charred on the other side. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. yep. Yeah. Ooh, Steak. I can't wait. I cannot wait. And you know, here's the thing. When you're making food at home, yourself at home, you can slice it as thin as you want, slice it as thick as you want. Look at that piece right there, trying to run away. You ain't going nowhere. You staying right in here. Get in my belly right now. Look at the gorgeous glaze. And we didn't overwhelm it with too much of the teriyaki sauce. So now, when I come back, we're going to assemble our steak tacos, Jenny Young style. Um, and you can decide if you want to use the flour tortilla or the corn tortilla. Now, I have two corn tortillas 
that we've heated up and then we put it onto a platter and we put aluminum foil on it, okay? And the purpose for doing that is to keep them nice and warm. You don't want for at any time for these to cool down because when they cool down, they get kind of hard and that's not what we're looking for. Look at this right here. <laughs> oh, wait. Listen, I didn't come to play with them today. Not today I didn't. Oh, uh-huh. Mm, let me turn it this way so you can see the glaze. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't skimp on the meat. Don't skimp on the meat. Mm, mm, mm. All right, here we go, y'all. This is what I call steak tacos. Steak tacos, Gina Young style. All right, we got the lettuce. We purposely put the lettuce on the bottom to prevent your tortilla from getting soggy. Salsa is the way to go. If you never had salsa on a taco, give it a try. Let me know what you think about, you know, the taste of salsa versus pico de gallo. There are a lot of people that love pico. I'm not one of them. My husband loves pico, but he also loves this and he likes it even more. Okay, so now my mouth is salivating, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this video because I'm enjoying making this and I'm going to enjoy eating one of these when I'm done. Look at that. A little bit of Colby. Your favorite cheese. Look at that. Girl, you saw mouse. Mm, mm, mm. And a little bit of sour cream. You, ha you almost have to have it. Just that little bit. Listen here, everybody. Ooh, wait. Mm -hmm. If y'all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Hey, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gorgeous meal today. We thank you, Lord, for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for the rope over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look, y'all. Take a bite. God bless each and every one of you all. Thanks for watching. Make yourself.